Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture of online GDP compiler for Java programming. So you have open your Google type online GDP compiler it is a very useful online compiler. Okay, so you will get a link of online gdp.com. You can choose the link online GDP debugger. So generally you have to choose Java from the programming language section. So this is the language section from the top down menu. You have to choose Java first. Okay. So you will have a sample Java programming. Hello world is here. This is your editor environment. So here you can do your coding. Okay. So uh, to run the code, you have to choose the run button in the top. Okay. The run button is there in the top. You have to choose the run button. Okay. So we will get an output here. This is the output in the bottom. It's an output window. Okay, input output window. So we are getting a okay output hello world. Okay, is displayed here. Okay, so here we are having a various icon on the top. The first one is uh, to create a new file. Okay, you have to choose this icon. Use this icon to create a new file. Okay, this one new file. You can give a suitable name. I'm giving a test one. Okay, so I have a new file test one dot Java now. Okay, to edit a file, you can choose, I can rename the file as a test. I'm renaming it as a test and you are able to delete the file using the menu. Okay, so in this way you are able to create a new file. Okay, then we are having a run here. So next we are having a debug mode. So debug mode means any uh, error is there, we are able to debug it. Okay, I'm choosing the uh, debug mode here. Okay, it shows a message, you are not, uh, you are not new to a debug program, then helpful to get to know usage of debugger it will ask you to go to the guide of the debugger and how to use the debugger so i'm selecting ok so this is the debug mode so here i can we are having various window call stack window local variable breakpoint so it is in the left corner if you click ok if you have a line number is there if you want to set a breakpoint in left corner if you click it you will get a uh, breakpoint for example in 11 i'm clicking a left side of 11 i'm getting a breakpoint now I'm setting a breakpoint here. So I'm starting, sorry, starting the debugger. I'm setting the breakpoint in two places. Okay. Then I'm giving a okay run. So debug now. I set two breakpoints. Okay. So it shows. So here it shows what are the lines I have set the breakpoint. So I'm setting a breakpoint in the uh, 10th and as well 13th line okay it shows that the debugger window uh, it shows that the break points break and watch points okay are set in the uh, main uh, program name main line number 10 and line number 13 i have the break point which is shown here okay uh, then we are having a call stack and local variable window for example i am changing the program now as a I'll show how the local variables are displayed i am removing the break points now okay i am changing the program as a I am declaring variable integer a equal to 10, uh, b equal to 20, comma c. I am declaring three integers. I am expression c equal to a plus b. And instead of uh, printing hello world, I am printing the value of the c now. Okay. When I run the program, it will get executed. I will get the output 30. Okay. No, absolutely no issues. Okay. So 30. So when I run it in a debug mode, I am setting a breakpoints in uh, two tall line number tall and line number uh, thirteen. I am setting a breakpoints again. I am running it in the debug mode. So you have to choose the the debug window next to the run. Okay, I am choosing a debug mode. So when I start, okay, you have to choose the debugger. Okay, to start a debugger, you have to choose the start button. Okay, I am choosing the start button. So now, see. Okay, we are having a the main program are, are shown here. The main programs uh, breakpoints are shown here. Okay, I am continuing it. Okay, now I am getting a the local variables. ARG is default local A value 10 and B value 20 is uh, displayed in local variable section. And call stack will work when we have a function call. So we are having a various uh, function continue. Okay, we have to continue the program and we are having a various. Uh, parameters various uh, menus here okay so like uh, pass okay use is to pass the debugger continue step over 
step into step out you are, it will work actually the, with the functions when you go to help you will understand what is the difference between the three okay so they have given a help here so they have mentioned very clearly continue continue resume the program execution until the next break point is reached okay next step into okay execute the program line by line stepping into function okay when the function is written a function to step into the function step over execute the program line by line but don't get inside the function step out which resumes the program execution until the current function is finished okay they are working very properly for the c programming but some of them may work for the java programming also okay so next time stopping the debugger okay the my, my program got executed okay then uh, to stop a debugger i have to give a execution of the program i have to give a press the stop button the okay, stop button is given here i have to press the stop button okay so now the execution is get halted okay execution will get halted this is discontinued now okay fine so next is ordinary way to run a program i'll get an answer okay debugger means that we can set a break points and we can step into step over continue everything will execute okay so next uh, you want to share this program with anyone okay you have to click the share button okay, share this program to anyone you have to choose the share button okay you choose a share means okay they, then you are having a share code or you are able to okay this is a http okay on, online code you can copy it and share it in your mail or some whatsapp or anything else here we are having a script we want to embed it in the script mode okay you have your script code okay, the script is given here okay you can copy them copy the program and you have to share it for your assignment next beautify okay so for example my program is like this okay i want to beautify it i choose a beautify okay next to save i am having a beautify okay so the beautify option is there so i select the program and click a beautify and it will be arranged okay it will be arranged okay before beautifying it okay it was like this after beautifying it okay some spaces are given the program is arranged okay in a uh, well organized uh, manner okay some spaces are given okay it's good so this is a very useful option the beautify is a very useful option next i want to download this program you have to choose the download button okay you have to choose the download button so download the option okay so here i am clicking download code okay you have to give a select leave okay the program got downloaded okay already downloaded I once once i have got downloaded so you have to close minimize it go to the download okay my program is there okay main main to just okay i already uh, downloaded okay I'll remove the file and i will just remove them and will download it again okay i have already downloaded many times okay so now i will show it to you okay i'm going and selecting the uh, download button this is the download code i'm selecting download code okay now the main.java okay the program name is main.java this is available it's downloaded now okay this is downloaded then okay uh, another option is there that is an upload okay, here is an uh, upload option you can upload, upload it from a system for example uh, i am uploading a code here okay main.java for example this is downloaded already you want to upload from a system any java program you want to upload from a system you can use the upload code you are able to upload them okay now main.java is already there so it is not uh, it is already uploaded here okay so likewise you can upload any code by using this upload function okay for example any java code you can upload, upload it by using a upload function uh, fine so next we are having an uh, various programming language in the language option next we are going to discuss about the settings setting first is editor theme this is a light theme i want to change it as a theme is here i want to change it to a dark theme okay i am able to change it to a dark theme okay the light theme can be changed to a dark theme i am changing it to a dark theme now it, it is the theme is become dark okay so next uh, yeah, edit, okay editor mode it's a normal mode and we have an emacs mode and vim mode so three type of editor is available font size is medium i want to change it to large it be large now okay i want to change it to small i can okay, see here i am having a three options small large and medium okay so i want to change it to small it's like a small okay the font small font size will be small okay then it is medium tab spaces so i'm uh, uh, generally tab spaces going to go to four spaces i can increase it to eight now i'll show it to you if i give a tab means okay it will go to eight spaces it will go okay so likewise i'm changing the tab spaces okay auto compile on and off i'm uh, uh, just make auto compile on and you'll have some extra compiler flags are available okay you can set the extra flags by yourself i'm not setting it now then that's all about the setting 
okay now you want, i want to save a program that means okay i am saving the program but then i have to choose the save button okay save button i have to give meaningful project so i give my first java is a project name okay now the project got created here my project got created within this i have a main java okay to see my projects you have to click a uh, button my project so all the projects are done by me which are stored here to create a new project you have to again go for a create a new project okay so i want to open the previous one i will go to the my project okay then i will open any my project okay my first python program my first java program any program i supposed to open here okay this is my first job java my program which is recently uh, done by me which is which is given here okay uh, so in this way i am able to use it and uh, the classroom and everything i have uh, explain okay i will explain in the uh, another video okay i have created various schools you are assigned a student so okay i will share, give the link of that video it is online gdp compiler for c programming you, you can see and enjoy the video that link is given in the description okay then you are having a learn programming various programming language you are able to learn uh, then you are having a programming language questions are there so you have to log in you need a, a login i already log in and that's why it shows ask me to log out okay i already log in by using my gmail okay you can create an account or you can log in by using your gmail okay so i am going to going to my projects i am opening my my first java okay it is it is again appear here okay that's it uh this online gdp compiler for java programming is a very useful tool okay use the online gdp compiler do programming and enjoy your programming okay and actually online gdp compiler for c programming and python interpreter i already given the link in the description that's all thanks for watching this video kindly subscribe to my channel press the bell button share and comment thank you